Hi, boys and girls. Um, it's Miss Belinda, and I'm here today to um, give you some information about the upcoming summer reading program at the Palos Park Library. Um, this is our theme. It's called Reading is Magically Delicious. And um, it's going to be a fun event for children ages birth to grade four. Um, that's actually the age group that I'm going to be handling. Um, Genesis handles the tweens, which is grades five through eight. And then Emily will be handling the adult part of the program. Um, do you guys like to read and earn great coupons for food treats and tickets to win prizes? Well, if you do, you have to join our summer reading challenge. It's beginning on June 1st, and it runs until July 31st. Um, it's an online program, like we had last year, through Beanstack. Um, I know some of you were a little reluctant with Beanstack last year, but um, we have some, um, the staff has uh, a little more uh, background now on it, and if you need help, you can always call the library or even uh, send me an email and I can help you with setting it up too. Um, okay, there's going to be three reading categories. It's the read to me and that's the toddler through kindergarten, the beginner readers, which is grades first and second, and the experienced readers, which is grades third and through fourth. Um, that's the same as we did last year. I tried to keep it pretty similar to what we did last year so it wouldn't be too complicated. Um, we are going to have the youth section decorated like a sweet shop. And I'm going to show you my shirt. It says, Miss B's Sweet Shop. <laughs> and that's what it's going to be, my sweet shop. So you'll get to see all the beautiful decorations that I made and my husband made, um, and we're going to have it all set up like a little candy shop. And we're also going to have all the prizes there that are going to be a part of the summer reading program, and everything will be marked as to what categories they are, so you could see what kind of prizes you might want to try to win. Because as you read and reach your goals, you'll you'll get uh, coupons, and that'll tell you on your Beanstack site there what coupons you get and you can stop in the library right at, right as soon as you reach the goal you can come in and get your coupons we're not going to hold them like we did last year you can stop in and tell the lady at the desk your name and which goal you reached and we can look up and see which um, coupons that you're supposed to get and you will also have um, online entries that you can enter into the drawing for the prizes so if you come in and see a certain prize and it looks good to you and you you think, oh, I hope I can get some entries to enter into that, at least you'll have a chance to see what the prizes look like. And um, let's see. Oh, and there's going to be, like last year, um, I'm going to be doing some weekly quizzes. And uh, those will be every Monday. I will put the new quiz up. And the first person that answers correctly will win a prize and I'm still working on those prizes I'm going to surprise you um, last year I if you remember I had the um, candy jars that I made but this year I'm going to make something really cute and I think you're going to enjoy it um, we've had um, a lot of donations and we're so thankful to all the businesses that donated uh, we've got gizmos in Orland we've got Target we've got Pops we have Emerson's Toy Store, Patio, uh, Raising Cane in Oak Lawn. That's the chicken place. We have Nothing But the Cake in Orland, uh, Plush Horse, McDonald's, Portillo's, Chipotle. Oh, just so many that we can't even name them all. Fox's Pizza, Culver's, and Bridgeview, uh, Chick fil A, um, Windy City Thunderbolt, Chicago Fire. Lou Malnati's Pizza. So we have a, a real nice lineup of uh, coupons that you guys can win as you reach your goals. Um, 
then we're going to have quite a bit of programming too that we're going to open up, you know, have a registration for. Um, actually, we have one that's uh, going to be going on next week on the 28th. It's the flower garden, the children's flower garden boxes. Um, some of you may be familiar with that. Um, that sign-up sign started on the 14th, so there's still plenty of room. We have 20, I think we have 23 boxes available, or 20, 22, um, for people to sign up. And Home Depot um, actually donated the flowers, so next week I'm going to be going there on Thursday to pick up the flowers, and the flowers will be there, the boxes will be set up. Um, you just have to sign up and uh, call the library and get a special time um, that you want to come and um, you'll have all the supplies and you could plant your own flower your own flowers every every box will have three allowed and I have little stakes that I made um, that you can write your names I, I prefer if you just put the family's last name on there that would be fine then you know which box is yours and uh, we've done this for a number of years we haven't we didn't get to do it last year but we want to start doing it again this year because it was a lot of fun and it looked beautiful it really makes our garden look beautiful in the back and we've I know uh, our director Catherine has done a beautiful job back there and we want to add to it with our children's flower boxes um, these are some of the programs that we're going to be offering we're going to have virtual story time um, I'm going to be doing painting crafts uh, Father's Day painting session, 4th of July craft. Um, we're going to make um, sock donuts out of stockings. Um, I did that last year and I really liked that and I think you guys would enjoy it. Um, we're going to be having uh, a Zoom cooking class with a group of uh, chefs called Sticky Fingers Cooking and they're going to um, have a, a class online that you can sign up for. And that we're going to have one in June and one in July. And that's just for um, our age group up to fourth grade. And we're going to have, um, we're going to have wooden cupcakes and wooden ice cream bars that you could paint. That's also for the uh, K through fourth grade. So we have a lot of fun things lined up for you guys for the summer. And um, we hope you'll remember to sign up on June 1st. And it or around there it doesn't have to be exactly but it runs until July 31st and um, then we are planning a special closing event for the summer reading program on August 7th but we don't have all the details together yet so once we do we will put that online also and um, it's just gonna be a, a really fun time this summer I mean we've got to make up for all the stuff we couldn't do last summer and um, it's going to be a simply delicious reading program. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys there. And um, I just wanted to give you a heads up so you know what's coming. And don't forget our flower boxes. We really would love to see some new families come and plant their three flowers. Um, all the flowers will be in the back. I, I think I have to get probably close to 100 flowers, but they were... Home Depot was wonderful in uh, Chicago Ridge and are donating them to us. So we're very happy about that. Okay, so just a heads up. Um, enjoy your summer and I hope you guys have fun reading and enjoying all the delicious stories in our library and just enjoy your summer. Okay, take care. Okay, bye now.